there, it's Bill Weemoth from HistoryHighlights.com. Hope you're having a great July the 23rd. And for a summer day, this feature from the Library of Congress is perfect. The Ice Cream Cone. Because it was on July the 23rd of 1904, according to some accounts, that Charles E. Menches conceived the idea of filling a pastry cone with two scoops of ice cream and thereby invented the Ice Cream Cone. He is one of several claimants to that honor, Ernest Hamwe, Abe Dumar, Albert and Nick Cabaz, Arnold Fornashu, Dave Avoyou, all have been touted as the inventors of the first edible cone. Interestingly, these individuals have in common the fact they all made or sold confections at the 1904 Louisiana Purchase Exposition, known as the St. Louis World's Fair. It is from the time of the fair that the edible cornucopia, a cone made from a rolled waffle, vaulted into popularity in the United States. Another claimant, Italo Marchioni, actually received a patent in 1903 for a device to make edible cups with handles. However, the patent drawings show the device as a molded container rather than the rolled waffle seen at the fair. Although paper and metal cones were used by Europeans to hold ice cream and pita bread was used by Middle Easterners to hold sweets, the ice cream cone seems to have come to America by way of the pike, as the entertainment midway of the St. Louis World's Fair was called. The origins of ice cream have been traced back as far as the 2nd century B.C., Although a specific date and inventor have not been indisputably credited, noted figures known to have enjoyed the frozen treat include Alexander the Great, 365 BCE to 323 BCE, who is said to have eaten snow and ice flavored with honey and nectar, as well as Roman Emperor Nero Claudius Caesar, 37 AD to 68 AD, who supposedly sent runners into the mountains for snow, which was then flavored with fruits and juices. Although legend has it that Marco Polo brought back to Europe a Chinese method for creating an ice and milk concoction, recent scholarship indicates that if he did bring back such a recipe, it was probably not from China but from elsewhere along his route. Over time, recipes for ices, sherbets, and milk ices evolved and were served in the fashionable Italian and French royal courts. After the dessert made its appearance in the United States, it was served by George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Dolly Madison. It also was set out for guests at the inauguration of Andrew Jackson. The use of the ice mixed with salt to lower and control the temperature of the mix of ingredients proved a major breakthrough in the creation of ice cream as we know it. The invention of the wooden bucket freezer with rotary paddles facilitated its manufacture at home, making ice cream a staple of kitchens across the land. A Baltimore company first produced and marketed wholesale ice cream in 1851. The treat became both distributable and profitable with the introduction of mechanical refrigeration. The ice cream shop, or the soda fountain, has since become an icon of American culture. On this warm summer day, hey, a scoop of ice cream is the solution to everything. You guys get yourself a nice cold cone or a cup. Enjoy yourself, and I will talk to you soon. All the best.